Yeah, it looks like he just drifted up into Harvick's left rear. Now the car pushed up the racetrack and... You want to see somebody that's lucky. Two goes, goes around. Right. Biffle gets by. Jimmy Johnson gets by. Kyle Busch gets by. And Carl Edwards just all but stopped in the 60 car up there on the high side. Good. Yep. I'd say it's that dreaded lack of grip. Boyer's on fire. Jeff Gordon's wrecked. And they Montoya. are still wrecking. Montoya, Stremi, Kenzen, Biffle. So leave Clint Boyer. Just gets loose. You just thought the 15, I think, was going to be higher. Got back into the back of him. That's... Like coming down the racetrack. Carl Edwards right here. Oh, it all starts with the 23 of David Reagan underneath. It looked like the 31 of Ryan Newman just got loose in the carousel. 19 and 15 just had really nowhere to go. So Trevor Bain trying to block Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer had a, had a run on him. Trevor Bain trying to block him. Yeah, I mean, I think at that point, I know they're racing hard, but with only six cars one lap down, both of these cars are one lap down. These are the decisions that Trevor made. Contact right there. Right away, the 23 of David Reagan saw a lot of right front damage. You know, there she goes. There's just nothing you can do in that situation. Goodness. Clint Boyer just caught him. What happened is he rolled to a stop near turn eight, trying to get the car refired. That has all the looks of electrical, electrical fire. Yeah, yeah. Something electrical in the car caught on fire. I mean, that, that smoke like that, electrical fire like that, will choke you to death. He was running 18th. Obviously, he's had a frustrating year, and this was one that I think he thought he might be able to break out of that frustration, but obviously not. Yeah. And that kind of finishes him off mm, here. Yes. Yeah. And, oh, he's got a flat left, r flat um, left rear. Left rear. Yeah. Underneath Harvey, just losing the car. No side force because all the air is being pulled off of him. Jeff Gordon and, and uh, Casey Kane trying to figure out where they're going. Jeff Gordon has to get in the brakes and ends up getting locked up. Dale Jr. just snuck by. Position. Then this, the payback. As Brad Keselowski, the championship leader, right in front of him, finds enough room to get by. But, uh, you know, I think the 48, they said, run out of gas and kind of put us all in a bad situation. And I felt somebody hit me. I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> what's that? It's an eerie silence right there. But you always wonder what's going to happen. You're more, you know, nervous about what's going to happen when she lands. And, heck, it was pointed the right direction. I just kind of downshifted and drove it back to the pits. I said, <laughs> but you did stick exactly the landing. Exactly not how I wanted that to happen. But you did stick the landing, though. I would say perfect, perfect landing. <laughs> All by itself, just like uh, Joe Nemechek earlier, except not the same result that Joe had. Boy, this place hard on rookies, isn't it, Larry? Yes, it is. Yeah, just swaps in, gets into the wall, and then Clint Boyer gets turned around by Joey Logano and backs into Michael Walter. Oh, oh, oh Amendinger. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened. I thought it was a, this. This becomes almost a three cushion shot, safer barrier inside. Concrete outside, back inside. That was a hard lick, though. He yeah, that's the tail end of it. He had, he had already rotated up out of the groove, up into the gray stuff, and, and there's just nothing there. Here, and this is when I knew it was going to go bad. It just would not work. Oh, oh. Just not quite clear, Juan Montoya. That's what you were talking about there. We were talking about Jimmy Johnson maybe trying that for the lead up there. Boyer thought he had enough room to slide up there and just misjudged the speed that Montoya had. Right here some, as they run up on Carl Edwards and Jamie McMurray, you can see it turns slant to the right, and then Kevin hooks him in that right rear just a little bit. 
asked he him right there. Him. No. He never did. Wow. He never. He thinks he did, but he didn't. Yeah. No, he never touched him. So when they see the video, but look what happens behind. Eric Almirola does not escape this one this time in the 88. Yes. Come on, come on. Trying to get into the 42. The 42 is trying to protect. And as he gets into the left rear of the 42, the 42 goes up to the racetrack, gets into the left rear of the 15. Clint Boyer probably had no idea he had those two cars underneath him.